Good afternoon. A court has sentenced 15 schoolchildren to a year's probation for creating and spreading AI-generated images of their female peers in a case that prompted a debate on the harmful and abusive uses of deepfake technology. Police began investigating the matter last year after parents in Extra Madura reported that fake naked pictures of their daughters were circulating on WhatsApp groups. Yesterday, a youth court in Bad Hoff said it had convicted the minors of 20 counts of creating child abuse images and 20 counts of offences against their victims' more integrity. Each of the defendants was handed a year's probation and ordered to attend classes on gender and equality awareness and on the irresponsible use of technology. Police identified several teenagers aged between 13 and 15 as being responsible for generating and sharing the images. Under Spanish law, minors under 14 cannot be charged, but their cases are sent to child protection services, which can force them to take part in rehabilitation courses. Spain's Euro 2024 semi-final win over France last night was thrilling. The 2-1 victory secured Spain's place in the final, but the celebrations took a turn for the worst when Alvaro Morata suffered an unexpected injury. Morata was celebrating the win with his teammates when a security guard chasing a pitch invader accidentally collided with him. The guard slid into Morata, causing a blow to the striker's knee. The incident happened right after the match ended. Morata was seen struggling as he walked off the field, raising concerns about his fitness for the final. Spain's medical team will assess Morata's condition to determine the severity of the injury. Fans and teammates alike are hoping that he will recover in time to play in the final on Sunday. Coach Luis de la Fuente will closely monitor Morata's recovery. The team is preparing for the final and needs all its key players to be in top form. The injury scare has added an element of uncertainty, but the team remains optimistic. A Spanish and Dutch police have busted a drug trafficking gang based in Malaga province and arrested four people. The gang organised the transport of narcotic substances by vehicle, mainly cocaine and hashish. The main suspect and his wife own numerous houses and businesses worth more than €3 million. Euros. In addition to the four arrested, searches were carried out in Fuengirola and Benel Madana and the Dutch city of Tilburg, resulting in the recovery of 52 kilograms of hashish, 50 kilograms of MDMA, different quantities of cocaine, ketamine and amphetamines, and some €330,000 in cash and two firearms. The network also had several legal companies it used to launder the money from the drug trafficking. In collaboration with the Dutch police, the police operation here was carried out simultaneously in both countries. The four people arrested are accused of drug trafficking, money laundering, illegal possession of weapons and belonging to a criminal organisation. That's the latest from TRE. I'm Bob James.